Senator Seawitt. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. I rise to take note of Senator Abib's answer to my questions on um, alcohol-related uh, issues in Alice Springs and note that um, he didn't answer my question about the issue of a floor price or a minimum price for um, alcohol um, in Alice Springs or, in fact, um, answer my questions about reducing access to takeaway alcohol. Um, the Menzies School of Health um, that's uh, been doing some looking at some work on this shows that alcohol-related harms in Northern Territory is more than four times the national average, um, and clearly indicates that we do need some attention to um, alcohol uh, consumption in Northern Territory and in Alice Springs. This has been a consistent issue and call from the committee in Alice Springs for a long time. What they got in 2007 was. Um, an intervention, top-down intervention, that actually didn't really address alcohol consumption other than banning it in prescribed um, communities. Many of those communities were, in fact, already dry. But what it has done, A, is um, focused attention on Alice Springs, and there has been movement from communities into, into Alice Springs. But there has been some work done in Alice Springs to uh, reduce uh, the supply of alcohol, and in fact alcohol-related harm incident, incidences related to alcohol have in fact gone down overall by 14.4 per cent. They had gone down by 18 per cent. But what happened was that alcohol suppliers started bringing in cheaper alcohol, which has undermined the effectiveness of the alcohol restrictions um, measures. So that has, in fact, um, seen a slight increase in um, alcohol-related harm, but, it is, but not as high as pre-2006 issues. So uh, one wonders why um, Mr Abbott has jumped on the bandwagon and called for another intervention. Well, for a start, the word intervention is a dirty word in the Northern Territory and implies exactly what he means it to mean, which is another top-down approach to dealing with these community-related issues. What hasn't happened is the government has not grabbed the bull by the horns. It has, has not stood up to the alcohol industry. It has not um, introduced floor prices. It has not brought in uh, controls on takeaway, uh, uh, out, the number of takeaway outlets. I got some figures from the uh, library today that shows there's 134 liquor licences still in the Alice Springs area. 134. That's an absorbent amount of uh, numbers of alcohol outlets in Alice Springs. Instead of doing the usual, let's call for more police. And I've also done some figures on the number of police in the Northern Territory. In the Northern Territory, there's 716 police for every 1,000 people living in the Territory. This comprises to Australia a wide rate of 297 police per 1,000 people. In other words, we already have significant police numbers in the Northern Territory. And just, oh, by the way, the number of Aboriginal people represented mm -hmm. in our uh, prison system is an absolutely disgrace absolutely too far too high, and instead of just taking the usual law and order approach, which is let's lock people up, bring more police in, why don't we actually start addressing this issue at its fundamental cause, which is access to alcohol? Well, that's actually, there's other underlying issues, but one of the prime issues we need to deal with is access to alcohol. We need to be, for a start, using the price mechanism, which all the research shows works in combination with other measures such as reducing access to takeaway so that we don't get the animal bars um, that operate in the Northern Territory, where you can drink in the morning in Alice Springs and then when you get kicked out of there just after lunch, the taxis will line up and they'll take you around to the takeaway and then, then, the, then, they can, then they'll sell you takeaway alcohol. This is not good enough. We need to be standing up to the alcohol industry here. We need to be restricting access to alcohol. We need to be low to, um, making sure that there is a bottom uh, a minimum value of, um, for alcohol. Then we need to also be providing rehab services. We need to be funding nighttime use services in, in Alice Springs, which I understand there's very limited access to at this stage. And some of the services, one in particular that's running, is about to, it's only got six months more worth of funding. It doesn't know if it will be able to continue, which is another issue in the Northern Territory. And there's short-term funding cycles where just when you're getting a good program going up and running, the funding gets cut out. And then if someone thinks there's a bright idea to go and do something else, so will fund something else, thereby taking away funding from these effective services. 
What we need here is a sensible approach, not knee-jerk reaction, not sensationalising very, very serious issues that need to be properly dealt with. So we do actually not get a cycle in, in, like we've seen in Alice Springs where we started having a reduction in alcohol uh, consumption and alcohol-related uh, violence, and then that's gone up again as those measures have been undermined. But a top-down knee-jerk approach, just putting more cops on the street, is not going to solve this, this uh, problem in the Northern Territory and in Alice Springs. We need a much more thought-out response, but in particular we need the government to stand up to the alcohol industry and, res and restrict—turn off the tap— Time the has expired for. for the debate.